What is going on guys? Tunnel Fisherman Jay here and today we are back at the infamous crystal clear ditch. Now today we're doing something pretty cool. We're going to try and catch a fish from my tank but we're going to try and catch it out of this crystal clear ditch that you guys all know and love. I got myself some earthworms, got myself a little rod and we're going to try and get two species I want either or. We're going to try and get a little jewel cichlid or a little baby tilapia. Now there are a bunch of them in here they love these worms, so let's go ahead and see if we can catch one for the tank, and then we're gonna head home, and I'm gonna show you that little guy in the tank, so let's do it. Oh yeah, these things are juicy. Oh man, they're gonna love these. A little bit too big. Cut this up, perfect. Are rigged up. I see a ton of those little guys. Thing is, will they, be, will they eat? Let that worm sink all the way to the bottom. Oh, 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 we got a fish. Oh, nope, they spit it out. Got one. Oh my God, he spit it out again. All right, third time's a charm. I think I got too big of a piece in here, but let's try and expose the hook a bit. Oh, we got a runner. We got a runner. Something's got me. Got one. I got one. Here we go. First one out of the ditch. Mayan cichlid. Maybe big enough for the tank. We're going to keep him. He's about five inches, so he's not the smaller one that I was looking for. Whoa. Not the smaller one that I was looking for, like the three-incher, but he's not a complete giant. He's about, I'd say he's about five inches long. I'm going to throw him in here. He may be my next tank fish. That was the first catch in the crystal clear ditch. Calm down, bud. Put the area around for you. All right, let's try and get a little bit smaller one. If not, he will definitely do. I've always wanted a mine in the tank, so really, really pretty colors on him. So sweet, I'm happy with that. Let's try and get another one. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. You gotta get down low with these guys. If they see you, they get super spooked. They're really, really sketched out fish. I see one eating it right now. Little baby tilapia, exactly what I wanted. I think he's got it. Let's see where he's at. Oh, he missed it. Oh no. I think I just got ate by a giant. Oh my god. No. Oh my gosh way too big are you kidding me this has to be the biggest fish i caught out of here ever look at that what not what i wanted but dang this is a huge fish for this little ditch oh my gosh massive tilap yeah i think this is a blue tilapia my god this thing is huge all right well i guess we're gonna have to stick with the little four or five inch cichlid i think he'll be good for the tank he's not a giant and he'll look real pretty in there. This guy's definitely going back. Has to be the biggest fish I've caught here. I've fished on this ditch a few times, you guys, as you guys know. And I've never, this is probably like a pound tilapia. My gosh, that is nuts. I can't believe that, whoa. All right, let's put this guy back in his home. Let me get up nice and close here. All right, bud, ready? Look at that, there he goes. He was in a rush. Woo. All right, you guys, so this little guy is gonna be it. Little Mayan cichlid, really, really pretty colors on him. Perfect little size, really, really good for the tank. So let's go home. We're gonna get him acclimated. We're gonna put him in a tank. We're gonna see how he looks. I'm pretty excited about my new tank pet out of the super crystal clear ditch yet again. Super stoked about it, so let's get going. All right, so we are back at the house. We're here, here's the tank, you guys. I know it's been a while since you've seen it. There's been a little bit of changes that I haven't really told you guys. I definitely got rid of the largemouth bass. Uh, the largemouth bass tries to eat absolutely everything, but uh, no more largemouth bass. We got a little Paku in there. He's doing really, really good. Actually, we have two Pakus. There's one up there. Also a little baby guy up there, little Paku. And we got rid of the bass, like I said, and rest in peace to the arowana. He got sick. Not sure what happened, but a lot of the other fish didn't get sick and die. There was just something wrong with him. I think he was just sick from the pet store. I'm not sure, but we have our Mayan right here. 
we're going to acclimate him into the water. We're gonna do a little siphon drip system here. And we're gonna leave that going for an hour or two and then we're gonna set him free in this tank. And we're gonna see how he does. Pretty excited. All right, so he's been acclimating for a couple of hours, actually. It's been a while. I set up the whole drain system and whatnot, took it out. He's been acclimating. He's pretty decent in there. So we're gonna put him in the tank. We're gonna grab him with his little net. Put him in the tank and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna have a crystal clear ditch pet in my tank. So let's go ahead and grab this guy. All right. He's gonna be a little shooketh. Come on, buddy. Actually, he went right in. But look at that. Look at him, swimming right in. Kinda wants to get out of there. All right. Take him from here. Put him right in there. Nope, other way. Other way. Nope, other way is out, bud. You can figure it out, come on. All right, I'll help you, there you go. Oh, look at him. Look at his colors. He's so pretty. Take this net out. Oh man, look at that. I think he's perfect size too. He's not too big. He's actually not much bigger than the uh, clown knives in there. He's a little thick, but I think he's perfect size for the tank. He looks so good in there. And actually he looks really comfortable. Look at him. He's just chilling. I thought he would flip out. I thought he would go crazy. But he seems pretty damn comfy in there. I mean, this water is crystal clear as it is, so maybe he thinks he's back home. Hey, bud. Hey, you like it in there? Oh, oh God, what do we got? Oh, what do we got going on here? Settle down. I can't get over how he looks. He looks so good. I've always been a, I've always been a fan of the Mayans. They have really, really cool colors. Look at that. Sweet. So that's going to do it for this video, you guys. I just wanted to do a cool little video of putting a new pet in my tank, and I wanted to get it from the Crystal Clear Ditch. Now, the Crystal Clear Ditch is an awesome place. There's a ton of species in there, and I was lucky enough to get myself a mine cichlid from that ditch. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a big thumbs up if you guys want to see more tank videos. And what should we name this guy? What should we name this little mine? He looks chill. He's probably the chillest one I've ever put in the tank. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you guys later. These guys have the funniest faces. I don't know why. Every time I look at their faces. <laughs> look at his face. He's so funny.